This is the uh, P-Lock or Pop Lock by Jackrabbit Nerfer. Um, it uses magnets for a retention system for your secondary. It was designed originally for the Lepis, but it actually works with any sidearm of similar size. Um, the larger the sidearm, the harder it will be to retain it, but this one I can run around the shop and it won't fall off. It's not probably not going to retain well enough for a full sprint, but as long as you're not running too fast in an event, it should work just right for you. And one of the best things about this is you can just mount this bracket on any secondary you want, any sidearm that you have, it'll work. Now his original design had a mole system that would clip onto a, a mole system, the loops, and then you can put a tab in it to retain it. Um, you can also modify it, like I have here, to go onto a Blade-Tech belt bracket or a mole bracket for a little bit more modularity. So it just slides right on to your belt. Slide, click, lock, and you're good to go. And then you're ready to run around. Or if you prefer a a, stand, a regular belt loop style, that's also not too hard to, to design, but I prefer this, the modularity of the bracket system. It just uses a couple of magnets as a retention mechanism for your sidearm here. That's pretty handy, especially if you uh, don't sprint too much in a game. Your snake, your night snake, your quick snake, your snake V2, you just swap out that bracket. It's a pretty good size as well. It's got a nice flat surface for it. You got a mamba, it's a little bigger, but again, same geometry, so it would fit pretty good. You've got a pigeon. You could put any, you could put the lock here, I wouldn't recommend putting it on the slide. It just affixes onto your blaster by just two screws, bolts right on. Then you have these magnets that you insert. Make sure you insert them in the correct orientation. And so you've got two magnets here, one in the side, one on the bottom, and it just sits on, bolts together. So this just uses uh, eight by three magnets, the same magnets that I designed the Axiom to use or redesigned the Axiom to use. and all of the magnetic accessories and parts I have all use the same 8x3 magnets, and that's, that's about it.